It's a huge win here tonight to, to lock up a home game in the first round of the conference tournament. That's what we wanted to do. You know, we made just enough plays down the stretch to close it out. And uh, coach's team, you know, Luke's team just, they never hurt themselves. They just stay in their pattern. They stay doing what they do, and they're in, the, they're in it at the end. So I think this was a great win for us. Um, you know, for whatever reason, we weren't able to clean up some of the defensive stops and finish them with rebounds. I thought that was the key to Parkside staying in the game. They were offensive rebounding and, and, and they out rebounded us in this game and uh, you know that was hard for us but at the end of the day we made, we made enough plays, we got some stops and uh, we got the win. Obviously you got off to a great start in that first half uh, from the opening tip, uh, really took control early and uh, led throughout the basketball game. We did, you know, in this, you know, we got we got the game into the 80s, you know, this team controls the tempo. They did a great job of that at third place, so we did a little bit better job here today uh, putting it to our tempo. Uh, we took care of the ball in the second half a lot better, um, you know, two turnovers uh, versus seven in the first half, uh, but they took care of the ball in the second half too, so there wasn't as many turnovers, and, uh, you know, they just have some good players. You know, O'Rourke is, is a really tough cover, and you got to pick your poison with these guys. I mean, they made 13 threes, so they shot 48% from three. You know, all we did is work on guarding the three this week, so obviously, I don't know how much I helped our guys. They're just really good at shooting it, so, um, you know. I guess one more would have been detrimental or sent us to overtime for a little overtime play like we did at their place, but, you know, happy with this victory. How nice was it to have uh, maybe uh, kind of back uh, to full strength, uh, getting Reese back in the uh, lineup uh, here tonight and having uh, everyone uh, healthy maybe uh, for the first time in a long time? So Reese in the lineup, you know, there's a lot of things he can do that don't does show up in the box score. Obviously, um, he's got to get back into shape, and, you know, his role is different now, and he knows that, so and he's, he's going to embrace it. And and it's going to be good for us. Um, it allows us some different combinations that we we want, and helps us on defense and matchups. You know, he had some nice passes today, and just pr probably just talking about Reese, about three or four almost plays where he almost made it, and he probably was making it a couple months ago. So happy to get him back. Um, I know we had a few guys that didn't get in the game today. You know, that are players that can, that can play, and you know. I'm, it's hard, you know, but it's nice to have all the bodies available and you get a team win, and, uh, you know, I, I, I like the depth. I know, uh, obviously, all the, these games are important uh, from here on out, but big win uh, here for your team, not only for the GLIAC tournament, but potentially uh, needing some wins for the NCAA tournament as well. Well, you just... You sit back, and me and you are in the room, we're breaking it down, and you know, coaches, and there's nothing you can do but, but prepare to win. That's the only formula that matters. Uh, the regional committee formula, the you know, who's doing what, score chasing. The only thing that matters is trying to win the game, and if you can stack the wins up, then you got a better chance than if you if you don't. I mean, it's that simple. So we like it because it's it's fun. We like to do it at the different levels. I'm excited for, you know, Hope, Kelvin, Trine. You know, obviously Coach Saul at Kelvin and, and Coach Brooks at Trine. I'm excited for their national tournament. Watching that, it was the first round of the WAC conference tournament. You know, my alma mater, Cornerstone's a two seed. You know, my former roommate Teddy. Elbers, the head coach at, at, at uh, Indiana Tech. So it's just, it's fun to watch. But for us and our group, it's just laser focused to the next game. All we, all we can do to help ourselves is try to win. Obviously, that next game against Purdue Northwest on Saturday, senior day, and a chance to honor what's uh, an outstanding oh, senior class. My goodness, yeah. I was telling you the other day in the hallway, right? All six guys have scored over 1,000 points in their career. That's, that's amazing. And then the women's team has some fantastic seniors, too. So we got a bunch of them to honor. Looking forward to that. We got families coming back. Which reminds me, I got to get you all those names. I got, I'm working on it, Robert. And uh, this is going to be a good day. And we played Purdue Northwest the very first game of the conference, and now we're playing them the last game. So we really have to study with one day turnaround to see, you know, who they have become, who they are now, and, and how we can give our players the best chance to make plays. Um, and they got us. They got us in that game. So you know, we got to kind of remember that too. Well, Coach, thanks for the time. Congrats on the win, and uh, we'll talk to you again on Saturday. All right. Thank you.